What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I want to talk about Leo Santa Cruz and Victor Teresa's fight. Uh, great fight while it lasted. It wasn't long. There's not much to talk about. Based on that fight, it only went three rounds. Before I get into that, since it's a short fight, easy to do with the post-fight commentary, let me just release this PSA. We had a hell of a night of boxing. Abner Mars received a crushing knockout in the first round. Totally unexpected. Didn't see it coming. Watch my post-fight video on that particular fight. Um, this is about you YouTube boxing community commenters. Some of you guys are fucking idiots. Like, before the fights happen, you're quiet as a church mouse. All quiet on the Western Front. You don't hear from him. As soon as the fighter loses and the outcome is revealed to the world... Then all of a sudden, yeah, I knew Abner Mars was a hype job. I knew it. I knew he was going to lose. I knew that you didn't say shit about Johnny Gonzalez beating Abner Mars, especially in the first round. But now all of a sudden, you knew. I knew. I knew. I knew he was going to get not, Like, you didn't know shit. If you knew, then why don't you have your own video or a comment somewhere where you stated that? Fact of the matter is, it was an upset. Abner Mars got caught. And we'll see what he does from here. The end. End of story. Um, me, I don't care. At the end of the day, I release my predictions. And if it's an upset, it's an upset. I'm not going to be 100% right every time. But statistically, I'm more right on my predictions than I am wrong. So it is what it is. As far as Leo Santa Cruz, he's a hell of a fighter. He's a young champion. I like him outside of the ring as well. What he's doing for his family is definitely honorable. I've been telling you about this guy. He has devastating body work. He didn't really showcase it as much in this fight. There are points where he did. But if you watch the Eric Morrell fight, that was where it was showcased. He was tattooing the fuck out of Eric Morrell's rib cage. He was just touching him. But this was arguably Leo Santa Cruz's toughest opponent, Victor Teresa's, a fighter with experience and a fighter who had the championship belt. So Leo Santa Cruz, he rose to the occasion. He definitely won um, in a tremendous fashion passed the test with flying colors he made it look almost easy the first round it looked like a little bit of filler it was a very competitive fight while it lasted um but you can see the pendulum swinging towards leo santa cruz's way i would say in the second round you could see that momentum shift a little bit he landed a very nice punch which created a mouse underneath teresa's eye and his eye just started to fill up so it looked like it was impairing his vision i thought to the point where he was going to get TKO stopped because he couldn't see or um, maybe even a corner stoppage. Round three came and Leo Santa Cruz, he just went to work. He did what he did and got him out of there and ended up knocking him down twice in the, the round. And the referee stopped it. It looked like it looked like Teresa didn't want no more. Aside from the, the eye, he looked like out of breath. He looked like his legs were gone. Um, it looked like he could have gotten up if he wanted to possibly. But he was just fatigued, and Leo Santa Cruz inherited his title. So I see bright things in this kid's future. He's a very fan, like very fan friendly fighter to watch. Um, he seems humble. He's definitely sellable, just being bilingual and just a, a Mexican brawler. But he also shows um, elements of a defense, and his body work is is tremendous and make Chavez senior proud um I just like the kid man I told you guys about this a while so stay tuned it's upsetting though because Abner Mars got knocked out there were so many potential matchups for Abner Mars that I wanted to see Nonito Donaire Yadimo Rigonel or Leo Santa Cruz Leo Santa Cruz would probably have to come up and wait and I would like to see that fight um the these fights still can be made as far as Rigondeau and um Donaire Probably harder to make with the promotional company Cold War. But the Leo Santa Cruz was a fight that it looked like had been built up. Like they were building up quietly on the background. Because if you notice, Leo Santa Cruz fought on the Mayweather Guerrero undercard as well as Abner Mars. Abner fought on the Mayweather Guerrero undercard against Daniel Ponce de Leon. Now, their very next fights, they're on the same card together again. Only Abner Mars was the headliner. And unfortunately, he got knocked out. So... The storyline that it looked like they were building in the background, now it doesn't make any sense or it doesn't make as much sense. I mean, if Abner Mars is coming off 
uh, devastating first round knockout to Johnny Gonzalez. I really don't see them making a Leo Santa Cruz fight. Leo Santa Cruz is a fighter with um, tremendous stamina. I mean, he throws a high volume of punches. He would have to come up and wait, but he's undefeated. Abner Mars is no longer undefeated. I just don't see it. I think Abner Mars is going to have to take a softer touch, an easier tune-up fight. He's had a hard schedule his last six, seven fights. Very tough schedule, um, and it's a resume that is is definitely noble, but I think it's time for Abner Mars to fall back a little bit, take an easier approach, and I really don't see them making the Leo Santa Cruz fight immediately. So will this fight make sense in the future? Hopefully, because it was a fight that I wanted to see. Let um, Leo Santa Cruz do some things at 122 and then hopefully move up. I would like to see Leo Santa Cruz also fight Rigondeau. He said he can stop him late in the fight. Um, his chin has been tested to a degree against Munoz and Teresa a little bit. But no one to the the caliber of a Rigondeau. Rigondeau is a very masterful, um, crafty fighter with power. And he's a southpaw. So if they can make that fight, I would like to see it. As far as Abner Mars, Leo Santa Cruz don't see that fight taking place anytime in the near future. I think they're going to have to build back Mars' confidence and kind of get him back after he takes a little bit of a hiatus. So let me know what you guys think of Leo Santa Cruz. What do you think for Abner Mars? How will he bounce back? Would you like to see Santa Cruz and Rigondeau fight? Leave a comment and let me know something. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next videos, Ego, signing off.